Hey everybody, so there was an earthquake in Charleston, South Carolina today. In fact, there were several earthquakes in the area. They were actually located outside of Somerville, but they were widely felt across the lowlands, including in Charleston. And so South Carolina is not a place you usually think of when you think about earthquakes, right? So why did these earthquakes happen here? And what should you do if you felt shaking from an earthquake? So if you felt shaking from this particular earthquake, go to earthquake.usgs.gov. That will take you to a site with lots of different quakes. Click on the Charleston quake and then fill out the information on the Did You Feel It website, whether you felt the earthquake or not, if you were in the area. Okay, why do earthquakes happen here? When we think about earthquakes, we usually think about them happening in places like California, which is on the other side of the country. So California is on the edge of the tectonic plate boundary. So the surface of the earth is covered by a thin skin of rock called the crust. And the crust is moving around really slowly over the surface of the earth. And the places where these big tectonic plates, these pieces come together, are the places where we have the most earthquakes. So in the United States, that's along the West Coast. So California, Oregon, and Washington. But we have earthquakes in all 50 states. And that's because even though the rest of the country is not on the plate boundary, it's the intraplate, the, there's still old fault lines because long time ago we had plates smashing together and pulling back apart that created the Appalachian Mountains and those ancient fault lines still exist. Some amount of pressure and stress is building up slowly as the North American plate is sliding along. And so occasionally that, that pressure and that stress and strain is released in these earthquakes. Mostly they're little, Occasionally, they can be pretty big. So there was an earthquake in Charleston, South Carolina in 1886 that was estimated to be between a magnitude 6.9 and a magnitude 7.3. It's a really big earthquake. It was felt all the way up to Boston. It did significant damage in the Charleston area, including um, destroying a lot of buildings. I think 60 people lost their lives. Very tragic event. But that just goes to show you that these kinds of earthquakes can happen in lots of different places, not just in what we think of as earthquake country. So this area around Charleston has actually seen a little spit of earthquakes recently. There were a few in July. There were a couple in August. There was actually one earlier today, right after uh, lunchtime. It was magnitude 2.5. The one that was widely felt today was a magnitude 3.3. Uh, the preliminary depth tells us that it was pretty close to the surface. The closer an earthquake is to the surface, the more likely you are to feel shaking from that earthquake. So even though it was small, it was likely felt by a lot of people just because it was close to the surface. So if you feel earthquake shaking, what should you do? When you feel the jolt of an earthquake, drop down to the ground, take cover underneath a sturdy object like a desk or a table, and then hold on to that desk or that table because if the shaking is hard enough, the table can actually move away from you. What we're trying to do is prevent things from falling on you and hurting you. So that's what you do when you feel an earthquake. Also, if you need more information about this earthquake or want to fill out the Did You Feel It form, remember to go to earthquake.usgs.gov. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you later.